This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why are the wireframes on my model being displayed as a bump map? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and the question was sent along with an image. And in this image, there were two cubes depicted like this. And when the user came over here and activated the polyframes to display the wireframes on their mesh, they ended up with something like this. So the wireframes that were associated with the mesh are now being displayed as a bump map. So you can see as I rotate around the model here, all the visible edges are now getting this bump map effect. So why is this happening and how can I resolve this? So this effect is happening because you have a material selected that has color bump enabled. Now, if you have a fresh install of ZBrush, the material you more than likely have selected is the bump viewer material. Now this material by default has a color bump value set. So to disable what we're seeing here with the wireframes being displayed as a bump map, we just need to modify the material. So I'm gonna navigate up to the top here to the material palette and open this up. And then I'm gonna click this little icon here just to dock this to the side. And then in the material palette, I wanna to navigate to the modifiers area and open that up. And then I wanna scroll down and I wanna locate the color bump slider. So you'll notice with the bump viewer material, this is set to negative five. So the color bump slider is going to look at any color information that's on your mesh. And it's gonna take that color information and then apply it as a bump map. Now, when you activate the polyframes, the wireframe on your mesh is going to be viewed as color information. So this is why when you turn this on, this material with color bump set to negative five is going to look at the wireframe along with any additional color information on your model and then display that as a bump map. So if I wanna disable this, I just need to come over here and take this color bump slider and change it to zero. And this will disable the color bump effect. And now I should no longer have those wireframes being displayed as a bump map. Now you will also notice at this stage that I still have the polyframes enabled. However, I'm not seeing the wireframes in my model or any polygroup coloring. So this material, in addition to having this color bump value set, also has a high reflectivity. And so this high reflectivity value, which is located right here, is also going to override the wireframe and polygroup coloring on my mesh if I have polyframes turned on. So if I wanna see my wireframes and also the polygrouping, I also need to turn down this reflectivity. So I'm just gonna come over here to this reflectivity slider and I'm just gonna take this and just change it down to zero. And you'll notice after I change that reflectivity value to zero, my model will now correctly be displayed with the polygrouping and also wireframes. And so now I come over here and toggle my polyframes on and off so I can see the boxes. And then now I can see the polygrouping and wireframes on my mesh. So to recap, if you come across your model and you activate polyframes and the wireframes on your mesh are being displayed as a bump map, make sure that the material you have selected in the modifiers panel does not have the color bump value set. And also check the reflectivity slider here to make sure it is not too high because if either one of these are turned on, you will end up with those wireframes on your model being displayed as a bump map. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.